and so the topic of the um, our teaching tonight is the um, the six perfections. And for practitioners like us, actually, these um, six perfections, the practice of the six perfections are uh, extremely important. They are really fundamental to the path. They are really um, primary to our path as practitioners. And so we don't have all that much time uh, to go into it, but uh, as the best we can. So tonight we will make use of this time in our discussion of the um, the six paramitas or the six perfections. Oh yeah. And so within um, the six classes of beings, then we actually, we have all obtained the uh, precious human birth. Mm-hmm. And as as um, human beings having gained this uh, human existence, then we are uh, all equipped with the capacity for for reasoning, for thinking. We have the mental capacity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so then even though we've gained this uh, this human life, this uh, human um, uh, body, then also in order to uh, uh, put it into use for what we need to do, then there are other things that it needs to be equipped with as well. Mm-hmm. And so, among the things actually that we think we need, um, there are many things actually that we don't need. They are not essential. They are not necessary. And so Rinpoche is saying, if you're just arriving, there are also some seating in the back. If anybody would like to go uh, in the back, you're welcome to check out that seating and see if that's better for you as well. Mm-hmm. And so actually, um, there are things that we usually don't consider that are necessities, that actually uh, are necessities. For example, do uh, we usually think is the usual train of thought thinking, oh, I need to understand selflessness. The, uh, 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 selflessness. Uh, this isn't really the way we are usually thinking, but actually along these same lines, there are many things that are necessary that we don't think about. Mm-hmm. And 
And then there are things that we think, I absolutely need this, I must have it, this is really completely necessary, but actually these are uh, among these, then there are things that we don't need and actually furthermore are not beneficial. And so we are all equipped with this mental capacity, the capacity to think. And so now we have a choice. Uh, we can think about what we need, what is necessary for us in a temporary and in an ultimate sense. We can make that choice. で、And so uh, it is the case, however, that as Dharma practitioners, they do often consider um, uh, uh, some of this actually as, as necessary. They do place importance on it, but it's not the usual way of thinking. Uh, but actually, it is really important, beneficial, and essential to understand emptiness, to understand selflessness, these are things that in actuality are necessary and beneficial to us. しばちこやまるわ。ね、ガラソでしばにぎとろんでたぞ。ガラソが小屋で And so as people, then we are uh, made up of both the, uh, the physical element and a uh, mental element. We have uh, both of these. And uh, so we need to think about this, actually, in a physical sense, what is it actually that's necessary? And in a mental sense, what is it that is necessary? <coughs> ガロンソラウボゲテニカスネチャシゲトゥユビチャネガロンソラゴヤテカンデレスナタガロンソラウボゲンテンジントソゴゲロワスニガソタメナガソモンジゲガロンソゲデサゲカンバゴゲロワテ
Ini dicik kecawa saya tak kau lati baris dengan orang semua sen lati baris. And so yes, this does complete the basic physical needs of our human life. But no, this does not ensure our happiness. What does our happiness come down to? And so this is not the root. Um, um, uh, uh, this does not suffice the root of our happiness because our happiness comes from the mind. Actually, the root of our happiness comes from the mind, and with the thinking that I am going to uh, uh, engage in spiritual practice, I am going to practice the Dharma. Uh, is the way to approach this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we're all people. Uh, is there, uh, are there any people that don't have a mind? No. Uh, all people have a mind. Then if this is the case, then uh, actually there is no one for whom the uh, cannot engage uh, in this dharma. So there's everyone has a mind. So this thought of I will now practice the dharma to ensure this happiness, it works for everyone. Oh yeah. Then they did that. Then and so in terms of accomplishing the Dharma, there is or accomplishing virtue. Uh, we can look to achieve and accomplish vir virtue through the body and the speech. But is this actually the root of accomplishing virtue, engaging in virtue? Uh, no, it's not, because it, it, the root of engaging in virtue comes again from the mind. はい、で、ただ、さっきから、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね
And when we work to tame our mind, then we will receive uh, many great benefits. There will be um, many benefits that will come of this. And uh, we do this uh, through the mind, and these benefits, this fruition, will become manifest. And actually, the mind is extremely powerful. Um, it is powerful um, uh, in a, in a neg negative way. If we would engage in uh, negativity and non-virtue, then we can, again, uh, 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 um, uh, attain or um, achieve great negativity. But in the same way, we can also use this in a positive sense. The mind is extremely powerful. And so when we act from a perfectly pure motivation, acting out of authentic and pure uh, intention, this is what is extremely important. So the mind is the very root of action. Um, with a mind that is non-virtuous, then this will show in our behavior, our actions will also be non-virtuous. Uh, but on the other hand, with a, a virtuous mind, then this again will show uh, in our behavior, our actions will be uh, virtuous. And so again, the, the mind is the very, the very basis of all of this. And so, uh, transforming this mind, working with this mind uh, to transform it, uh, we can do this through a good motivation, a pure intention. With a vast mind of pure intention, then the Dharma will be more profound. Our Dharma practice will be more profound. And, and if we approach it uh, rather in a more uh, uh, narrow-minded or a tight view, a small scope um, a kind of approach, then again, it will be to that extent the profundity of the Dharma that we accomplish. Um, and actually, whatever we do, if we approach it through a, a narrow-minded uh, attitude, um, a tight mind, narrow-minded attitude, then accomplishing anything will be difficult. Right. 
这个是我们的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人生的人
And so uh, here together in our uh, gathering for the weekend, then I will be uh, teaching the Dharma and um, you all will be listening to the Dharma. And actually in both of these activities, in my teaching and, and uh, your listening, in our gathering here, actually all six perfections are complete. And so um, during uh, our process of, of receiving these teachings, then one should, one should engage in the activities of hearing, reflecting, and meditation all together, all at one time. One should take these as a single action, but not separate, thinking, oh, well, today I'm going to listen to the Dharma, later on I will practice the Dharma, not separating them out like that, uh, but rather hearing, thinking, meditating, all together as one inseparable union. Oh, yeah. That and the Indira Zogars and the Tatanga also and the Jimba, she and the Tazo Dini, that Jimba did the Nagarsena, the Maronsa Latin Karatangres, the Karatamba, the Senatin Jimba de la Yasomaina, Chuchi Jimba, the Nicarsena Tenita, Norku Jimba, Ubu Jimba, Ubu Jimba, the Nicarsena, the Menjiba Japu Jimba, Jimba de la Yava number Sumures. And within this first uh, perfection, then we have this perfection of generosity, which there are three different categories of giving. There is the uh, giving of material wealth, the uh, giving of the Dharma, and then uh, giving or providing protection from fear. <coughs> And so if we take this um, one category of giving or generosity, then that is the giving of the Dharma. Well, then here, as I'm speaking about the Dharma, then um, this is uh, in this first category of, of um, the generosity of giving Dharma. And so when the Vajra Master engages in the activity of bestowing empowerments and of uh, giving the instructions and of giving reading transmissions and so on, these all come within this category of um, this first generosity of generosity of giving the Dharma. Right, and so for you all actually you have this perfection or paramita of generosity complete as well here today. 
Um, and how is that? Well, you have uh, given of material things uh, here at the center, and you've also given the generosity of your time. So uh, in uh, uh, several ways, actually, you have this uh, generosity, uh, the perfection of generosity complete here tonight. まあ、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
ジンバテトンタグマレス。ジンバトンタグマレはセナヨナ。セナジンバトンタグマレは。ジンバトンマトソワイエナ。ジンバマトンソワイエナ。ナランソグソンムサタグレベ。ソンムサタグマレはソン
ハコソ。シェナメンダタンゼンクマレス。テンデイインデタソテネダンゼンテネカツダトマソンソンワイナテカルルチャンパレスナテラジンビパシンデツンガレス。ジンビパルテシェバ。テネジツンマラリピソン
Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so after the um, you know, perfection of generosity, then there is the perfection of moral discipline. ま、てんでんでたたたてね。たつちゅんじパルティシンバ、あ、でてね。感じちゅうがこぐれ、せなてね。だ、感じちゅうがこぐれ、せなてね。ね。ちゅんじパルティシンバ、感じしな。じゃ
Sosola <laughs> And so when we engage in uh, generosity in a way that we're really practicing generosity but not trying to deceive uh, people in any ways but honestly giving uh, what will help and through a pure motivation, uh, whether it's with our time or a, a giving of material things or so on, and we do it in an honest way, not a deceitful way, then this actually includes this uh, perfection of moral discipline um, as well. <coughs> And then the third of the perfections uh, is patience or forbearance. And then uh, one of the ways to uh, one of the um, uh, one of the categories of uh, forbearance or patience is is being uh, happy and for forbearing things for the purpose of the Dharma. <laughs> And if we're not patient, if we can't be uh, forbearing of things, then the uh, kind of the opposite side of this, the flip side of this, is is getting angry and upset. And uh, if that's the case, if we, uh, when we're angry, we actually accumulate a lot of negative karma. <coughs> And actually the karma that we uh, bear and gain from anger is said to be a very uh, severe, a very uh, powerful, very strong uh, negative karma. And even uh, in, out in society, then uh, anger leads to a lot of negativity. It can lead um, uh, to actually uh, fighting and killing and uh, a lot of negativity that is um, uh, taken up and accumulated. <coughs> And actually, on Sivala. And, um, and so Master Shanti Deva has said in the way of the Bodhisattva that there is no uh, bigger negativity than anger. <coughs> And of the three uh, categories of, of, of karma, the karma that comes from being uh, from anger or attachment or ignorance, the uh, strongest and most severe is that that comes from anger. Uh, 
Gonzala Michel Octon, a Congo Lompe, Mongo Hegadan, Gazan, Jagger Tambas, and Jilabier. Jagger Tambas, I take somebody, Dochuk Lee Jap, Dochuk Lee Senakoson, Dochuk Lee Jatamba, Jatamba Senakoson, Tonga, Tonga, Dochuk Lee Jatambali, Sherdang Lee Chick de Tenegas, and Tugres, Tusenagar de Dupas of Chigres, Dochuk Lee Jatamba Sapali, Sherdang Lee Tenny, Catching my chick. Catching my chill as on a deep and tough chigger is on by us. So it's um, how the master uh, Jagar Dampa has uh, said in the uh, a story in the words of my perfect teacher then uh, if we were to take a hundred of the karmas that uh, come from uh, attachment, one single. Uh, karma that comes from anger is far stronger. Yeah. Then we have to understand that. Then that control the 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 And it said that this extremely strong, severe. A karma that comes from anger is uh, what is the cause for the lower realms. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, how then, uh, what can we do here for this? Then, uh, what we can do is we can work with the um, with the antidote to anger, which is um, a patience or forbearance. Uh, we can meditate on this, we can work on our cultivation of patience. Um, and as Shantideva has said in the way of the Bodhisattvas, um, uh, entering the way of the Bodhisattva, then there is uh, no uh, better uh, quality uh, than uh, patience. <coughs> Antigorisenas, <laughs> And so then, uh, what can we, uh, what can we uh, do with this? How can we uh, bring this uh, practice into our different activities during our day? And so, whatever one is doing, um, it's going to be the case sometimes that things aren't going to go as one one wishes, aren't going to go, you know, the way that we thought that it was going to go. And so we should not get angry if this happens, and we should uh, cultivate patience with it. And actually, we should work towards um, making this our new habit to go about things in an open-minded and an easy-going, uh, going way, and just be patient with it. Zobakumi <laughs> And we have so many opportunities to train in this in our daily life. Actually, every day we engage in in so many different things, um, and we should uh, learn to recognize these as opportunities. Learn to recognize them uh, as uh, uh, opportunities not to be lost. So whether we're 
you know, uh, uh, doing our work. Uh, we work every day. We talk with other people. Uh, we talk with our friends. Uh, we actually do so many uh, different uh, activities. So we have many opportunities to train in this every day. Then So we can think about this, that every day we uh, go to work, uh, we engage in activities with other uh, people, and what a great opportunity this is. And so uh, one should first recognize the benefits, um, uh, the benefits here that are to be had, and go out and, uh, and don't uh, get angry, train in this forbearance and this patience. And so out there in society, in our day-to-day uh, -day life, it's actually a very useful time um, that we can use to train uh, in this um, a practice of cultivating patience. <laughs> ダテンレテンジョンウェバレステンレイニタタチュウゲチェラティソタンバチュウゲチェテカルセナテネタテンレテンガリジャタビアテネカルセナテネチュウゲチェテタンウボゲンチョバイナンラソソゲティソタン
And so if we make an example here um, regarding um, diligence, um, we uh, make an example of a Dharma practitioner. Um, let's take the, the most superior, somebody, a practitioner who has the most, you know, the best wisdom, most superior wisdom and the most superior um, diligence, then this will lead to them being a great practitioner. But take this same um, a, a example, and they have the uh, supreme wisdom, but without supreme diligence, they will just become an ordinary um, uh, practitioner. Um, however, if one, then we make another example, and one has the, um, uh, the lesser wisdom, uh, and the most superior diligence, then one, again, will uh, turn out to be a great practitioner. And so we really need diligence. It's actually very necessary. Um, even in a worldly sense, then uh, we can't uh, do without it. Um, in order to uh, get by and make accomplishments. And with diligence as a practitioner, then we can really, um, you know, accomplish our practice very well. We can really, you know, bring it uh, to a fruition. And in the um, context of the six perfections, then uh, diligence is defined as delighting in a uh, virtue, delighting in uh, engaging in virtue. Mm-hmm. And so if we really, you know, joyfully, if we have, uh, if we delight in something, uh, then we will practice, we'll engage in our practice, we'll joyfully practice. However, if we don't really delight in the activity, then we won't do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, you know, in order to come to this point of delighting in something to joyfully, willingly, and joyfully engage in it, so first we know we need to know the reason behind it. And once we have the reason behind it and we reach this point of, of delightfully engaging in it, then nobody can stop us. Somebody might come and say, no, you don't, you know, really, you know, you know just, you know, sit, 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 take it easy. You don't need to practice today. And, and the other, you know, person would say, oh, no, 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 I am going to practice the Dharma. There would be no stopping. <laughs> And so actually when we delight in something, when we reach this point of really enjoying an activity, an activity and joyfully wanting uh, to do it, then actually engaging in it and doing that will not be difficult. <laughs> Then, the two of 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 the
Tuzum gomsum sozo getini semde tuzum gomsumdan kama trebaci. Dendici dene yongreyiz. Dendi yong somba yana ne de la zundi segres. And when you have this attitude of, of a joyfully, willingly uh, engaging in an activity, then whatever it is, you will be able to do it. And for example, this ability to um, hear and reflect and meditate is an inseparable union uh, will also come along, will be achieved. <coughs> And so um, Milarepa has said uh, regarding uh, regarding uh, diligence uh, that perfectly remaining inseparable from the practice, there is no other diligence than this. And uh, then after um, uh, joyful uh, effort, then uh, comes the perfection of uh, meditative concentration. And so a meditative concentration is the undistracted mind which arrests single pointedly, rests in single pointed focus. ニャンネヤホヨンバラタンボニウエンバタザテンゴレス。ニウエンバテンゴレスオンダパティジンスナカワラテレセナニウエンバテラナミヨンマンボヨマレス。ナミヨンモゴメソワイナネセミシワラネ
And so in order for us to rest in the unfabricated nature of mind, then we need to rely on the uh, pith instructions, the oral instructions of the master, resting in the unelaborated, in the unfabricated nature of mind is something that is not easily done. <laughs> And we come to be able to do this through our own personal experience. We need to uh, gain experience in order to do this. So first we rely on the uh, oral instructions of the Guru. And then, um, even if we are in a place with a lot of distractions, we will still be able to uh, engage in this single-pointed resting, and this is because we have these uh, instructions and we've gained experience. And so, um, uh, uh, Jitsun Milarepa has said that to stay in the natural state, um, uh, there is no, uh, there is no higher a meditative concentration than this. Nothing. ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。
And so among this wisdom, which is the very principle of the path, and there are uh, three divisions, the uh, wisdom of hearing, the wisdom of uh, reflecting, and the wisdom of meditation. おや、とびしゃる、で、なんかせなたね。コンセプトだね。タ、あ、田んぼで and so then the first of this division uh, is the wisdom that comes from hearing. And uh, this is uh, first here uh, because it's really important. If we don't listen, we won't know. And uh, like uh, we mentioned uh, earlier at the beginning, then there are actually a lot of things that are uh, are necessary that are things that we must count and understand is necessary and so this is one of them here this uh, hearing or listening and so this wisdom that comes from hearing, I mean, it brings us to a point where we will know what we didn't once know うん、ならそうか、ハマコはでもぼよです。ならそうか、さ、あ、に、さま、ハコウヨンが、ドプタツオン、さま、ジャンヨ、テンカラバ。ドプタナン、さま、ジャンヨ、ヨルベテン。
Some two by two wounded one, Tila, then it's a mission of Tash and Shake over us, then oh, choose in a country chicken, then it not so near good pantocar and then Tartilla pantocar de Roa. When Chugan on the new body carriage, then it shall give the same Senna carriages. Dame Bassin, Tony Senna candidate, also let any ten equals and share of Tash and Shake words. Tash and Shannon, so you get a Missy Negress, Missy Jagress, the name of it, some be share of good don't not sugar. And then we come to the wisdom that comes from now reflection. Having finished a listening, then we come through to the reflection. And in this stage uh, of reflection, <coughs> reflection, then this is when we actually, you know, we analyze and investigate that which we have heard. Uh, it's not sufficient to just leave it at the point of hearing. But then we have to take that and say, hmm, what was that about? Um, what is this helpful for? Um, we have to try to come to some understanding uh, about the meaning. Um, and thinking, oh, what is this uh, enlightened mind of bodhicitta? What is, you know, analyze um, uh, emptiness, analyze uh, selfless, uh, selflessness, think about it, reflect on the meaning of that which was uh, heard, and, and continue to do this until one uh, comes to a certainty, um, a certainty about the meaning, and that's when all uh, doubt has been lost. One comes to certainty about the meaning. Oh yeah, so when we uh, have in uh, uh, cleared away uh, all of our um, all of our uh, all of our uh, doubts and all of our uh, uh, perceived uh, notions, but ha then have come to a certainty about something. Uh, we do this through this reflection. We come to absolute certainty in the meaning. And then once we have uh, an ascertainment, um, or a realization, we could say, a, a, an ascertainment of certainty, then that's the point when we actually then have the point of meditation. <laughs> And so uh, one should um, come to a certainty about the true abiding nature. Uh, one should come to ascertain it and reflect in a way that one comes to a certainty about the true abiding nature and then meditate on this. How can one say that one is meditating uh, on uh, the true nature or in the true nature if one hasn't yet come to certainty, to resolve it to the point where one has certainty uh, in it? So first we need to, uh, to know about it, uh, to dispel all doubt, come to certainty, and that's when we have the uh, meditation. <laughs> Namunaraso, <laughs>
And so if we, mm, I'll make an example here. So uh, first, in order for us to be able to do this, is we have to investigate what is the nature of mind? What is this mind? What is mind's nature? Um, because if we don't know what it is, how is it that we say, oh, I'm going to now meditate on mind's nature. I'm going to meditate on the nature of mind. At first, we need to know that very nature. So uh, first, we I have to really understand it. Uh, we have to come to uh, ascertain it and ascertain it with complete certainty. And when we have, uh, based on that realization, then we hold that ascertainment or that realization in our mind and that's the meaning of meditation. Uh, so first we uh, bring this uh, a, a personal ascertainment in certainty uh, and then we uh, sit with that and we sustain it in our mind and then uh, this is a meditation. <coughs> で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
because we know that there's no true establishment in them, and so we don't cling to them. And in continuing to train in this way, then we will come to the point where we no longer cling to things as having a truly established reality. And then these are some of the ways that we bring uh, this um, uh, uh, training in wisdom into our practice. And so I've uh, briefly explained um, uh, the six um, perfections, and uh, as uh, time didn't uh, allow to go into this uh, deeply, uh, then, or, you know, into a very extensive explanation, then I've explained this uh, briefly, and I think that our time is uh, up. And so I hope that the meaning of the uh, six perfections has um, uh, been clear for all of you tonight. Sim and so, uh, first, uh, one starts with understanding and recognizing what the nature of mind is. And then, Resting the mind peacefully, settling it, not following after our thoughts, the mind will become relaxed and peaceful and tamed, pacified. And then what will happen is we will reach, an, when one has reached an unfabricated state, uh, not kind of altering it uh, through um, any efforts at all, then one will just find that they are naturally resting and not following after anything uh, in a natural way. It just naturally falls into the point that we are unfabricated, just resting and not following uh, after uh, any thoughts anything that comes up in the mind. And so actually, so this takes a, a little bit of practice and habituation, but then that's the point we reach when we're naturally not following after Mm -hmm. And so actually, um, it's uh, uh, the six um, uh, perfections um, uh, in their uh, perfected um, uh, nature, are they aren't something that are inherent in all beings like uh, the Buddha, Buddha nature is. Buddha nature is the basis of the six perfections, but the six perfections are are the path, they are the path that we engage in um, to um, uh, to uh, achieve um, uh, our Dharma practice. Oh, the, do all sentient beings, do all sentient beings practice the six perfections? It seems to be, when, <clears throat> when we translate as perfection, transcendental perfection, it seems to be, we already have that and we need to be perfected. Mm -hmm. Or you need to be cultivated first before being mm -hmm. perfected. <coughs> the Parutuchin, Parutuchin Seriyate, La Pena, Nato Sama Yure, Yenayang, the Sama Ani 
Tarjani Omaris, Ani Dundak, Ani Yubadra. Tenimarit, and Persian to Sanga Massa didn't need to cook at a dish, and Yambo more let the Persian the Yundin Sama Sangerwa. Yin Yundin Sama Dendurist. Apostle, Yambola Yundin Sama Dendurist. Yinayan, Zilla Yundin Hendry in the Pantokomarist. Zam takes and Yamsilim is Han Semjinla. で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、